it's a horrible thing, but you certainly learn a lot from the process. The river came up over the road for quite some time. We had eight inches on the main floor of our house. The north wall and the south wall were off and it looked like a dollhouse. The water level on the main floor had reached about two and a half to three feet. Do we walk away from the house? Can we afford to even rebuild? View what's in front of you in the case of a marathon, not a sprint. The University of Minnesota Extension and North Dakota State University Extension Service have developed Recovery After Disaster, the Family Financial Toolkit to assist in financial recovery from disaster. The toolkit is free and available at this website. These tools will help you think through the situation that you're in uh, to establish priorities and decide what needs to be done and help you to act with purpose in moving forward after the disaster. Following a disaster, there may be a variety of financial resources available. Many resources and options may be available whether or not the disaster has been federally declared for individual and personal assistance. Some assistance options may be available immediately and others may become available throughout the recovery process. The hope that we would have is that people would actually um, look for more information and keep asking questions until they feel that they can make an informed decision. If you don't have insurance or don't have enough insurance, then you can tap into some federal and state resources such as FEMA, and your state may offer some disaster resources. Once those two have covered your losses, then you move into what we call an unmet needs area, and there may be other resources that come in during a, a disaster that will cover some of those unmet needs. If you have reviewed your finances and determined that you cannot meet your financial obligations and take on additional debt, you may find that voluntary foreclosure and bankruptcy are options to consider. Always seek the advice of a financial professional before making these decisions. Communication is, is the key there because otherwise, if, if we're not communicating to our creditors, they, they can only assume what our intentions are. Um, if there's no contact, no communication, um, you know, the, the, the interpretation might be that, that, that you have no intent to pay on your loans. They might not know that these things have happened. And without communicating with them and, and without reaching out to them, you might not know what, what options that they, that they have, have available. Be sure to take your time and make your decision with full knowledge of your finances and how each will affect your future. There are people out there who are ready and willing to help you make those decisions and to make the right decisions and to, to make sure you're going to be taken care of as you go forward in this. 